قبل ثلاث مرات ما في اليوم لقيت حدهم فارسين هو الجسادية يوسفية محمودية لطيفية بس خلصنا Shah Rastani faces the almost impossible task of kick-starting the resurrection of Iraq's oil industry, while the squabbling factions cannot agree on who should govern the country. He's also acting electricity minister, and he was embarrassed by yet another blackout here, which threw his guests into darkness. <laughs> At a post-dinner press conference, I was keen to ask him why, of all the IOCs, the international oil companies, the big U.S. companies had missed out on new contracts. No, that's not true. Um, as a matter of fact, um, all the major uh, IOCs, and um, mostly they are American companies, both um, ExxonMobil, uh, British Petroleum is, 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 is more American than British now, and, um, and so on, um, have actually signed oil contracts. But the minister figures he must placate different audiences. He addresses Iraqi disquiet about any American involvement when he sings a very different tune in Arabic to the local media. <laughs> هذا دليل الحقيقة رغم ما كل كل ما كان يشاع بين الأمريكان جاءوا ليأخذوا نفط العراق بين العقود النفطية لم تذهب إلى الشركات الأمريكية وإذا كان للسياسة تأثير لكان نلحظها في هذا المجال بخصوص الله بكل شيء The Iraqis say they've negotiated the world's best terms for the sale of their oil and analysts agree While his guests continue their feast, the minister slips into the night. The lights may stay on here for a few more hours, but this jolly little party is a far cry from the reality of daily living for millions of Iraqis. A life without power, spent wondering if they will ever benefit from their nation's wondrous treasure trove of oil and gas. <laughs>